This video is an important update on the way the workflow has changed from previous versions of Unreal Engine 4. I think it was uh, 4.25 or 4.26 when the animation editor, this window that we're in now, changed. And so in the videos that are ahead in the course, it shows the old way to do it. So if you have an older copy, that's the way you would do the, the editing of the animation in this section of the software. But if you're in 4.26 or 4.27 or even in 5.0 or 5.1, this is the new way that it's done. So I wanted to do this video for you so you can just apply this method as you watch the, the subsequent videos in the course. So let's just take this, I'm using the animation starter pack for Manny that you can get on the, the marketplace for free. And I've just double clicked the idle pistol so Manny's just standing here without a gun, but his hands are looking like he's holding a gun. And he's just in an idle pose. So let's say that we want to change this animation slightly. Let's say that we want his waist to move or his head to move or something like that. This is the way it works. Let's pause, pause this animation here. Let's go to the beginning and let's animate his head. So go up here into the skeleton tree type in head and then we'll select that and this is going to give us the control for the head so we can move the head create a keyframe and so on so the first thing that we want to do is grab his his head and just move it so you can see how we can turn his head just move it slightly and then right above here we want to select the key and this is going to create a keyframe down here in our curve graph. Now we want to go all the way to the end of the animation. Let's get this over where we can see it better. All the way to the end of the animation. And we want to set, keep the same positioning of the head and set another key. This way when he plays in a loopable animation, It'll be smooth and it won't jerk at the end. So now from here, anywhere in between the beginning keyframe and the end keyframe, we can move his head however we want and then hit a keyframe. So let's just, let's just move it forward here and let's make his head turn way over this direction and maybe pull it up just a little bit like that. And then up here, click the key button. And if you look in the graph, you'll see that there were some changes made. Let's leave it like that for now. Now let's move forward a little bit and let's move his head to the other way. Maybe down a little bit. Press the key button. And now let's move forward a little bit more. Swing his head back this way. Maybe he's looking up. And press the key button up there again. So now Let's go back to the beginning, press play, and now we can see his head moving along. And that's how we've created this animation here. We want to save this. Actually, it's better to do this in the very beginning as you want to save as a new animation so that we don't change the idle pistol. So what we'll do is we'll, I'm just going to call it revised at the end, and I'm just going to keep it in the same animation folder. So now we're working on idle pistol revised, and we made the head change right there. So that's how simple it is to change the animation of an existing animation right here in the animation sequence editor without having to go into control rigs or the sequencer itself or anything like that. If you just need to make a simple change, this is how we do it. Now, how do we get in there and we and edit or move around these keyframes? Because as, you, as I'm clicking on them, they're not movable. 
So here's what we have to do. It's kind of a little bit hidden how it was from previous versions, but all we have to do is go down to the head and there's a, it says curve and there's edit curve right here. Or we can just go on here and double click it. And now it's going to open up our curve editor and it's going to show us all the keyframes that we made. So from here, we can go in and we can drag select all these keyframes. And if we want to make it a smoother keyframe with the interpolation, remember, we just press the one key on our keyboard. And now this will give us keyframes that we can smoothly change. Now in the curve editors, we're going to see in future videos, so I won't go into it in a lot of detail here. I just want to cover it briefly. This is, this is where we can easily change the animation. As you see, as I'm moving his head up and down like this, I like to take off the snapping controls, which are up here because it feels a lot smoother to me to animate this way. Now, if I want this to move quicker, I just move the keyframe this way. And I have access to all of the different keyframes, the rotations, and you can also select this one at a time. All three like that. So this is very powerful and very intuitive to be able to go in here and just really fine tune the movement, how much animation is there just by selecting and dragging your various keyframes around. So see how I turn his head, however, however I want. So this in future versions of Unreal from 425, 4.25, 4.26, 50, 51, and beyond. This is how the animation editor works. So I just wanted to give you this update because in the following videos, you're gonna watch the workflow is slightly different, but I believe you're gonna like this a lot better because it's just more intuitive and more powerful. And with that, we're on to the next video.